The Appalachian Trail is a 2,192 mile trail that stretches from the top of Georgia to the middle of Maine across 14 states. In October 1921, Benton McKay, a former forester and government analyst, proposes a series of trails from North Carolina to New Hampshire. The trail would connect various forestry sites for research and recreation. With the partnership of William A. Welsh, McKay and Welsh started the first trails of the Appalachian Trail in Bear Mountain State Park, New York. Welch also decided the full length of the trail should extend to Georgia. Soon after, the Appalachian Trail logo was born and is still being used today. In 1932, Myron Avery and a small group of activists took to the trails and started blazing routes for the Appalachian Trail. The group also established the first guidebooks and maps. By August 1937, construction of the Appalachian Trail was in full swing. The trail clearing had begun in all 14 states. In 1948, Earl Schaefer is the first person to be recorded as hiking the full Appalachian Trail. After World War II, the Appalachian Trail faced a new set of challenges. The trail is in major need of restoration due to various weather conditions and underuse. Additionally, new residential areas began to take up land that the trail was on, and the lands were not yet protected as a national park. On October 2, 1968, President Lyndon B. Johnson signs the National Trail System Act, which made national trails a part of the National Park Service. In March 1978, President Jimmy Carter signed amendments that gave the National Trail System Act $100 million in funds to help create a more organized group that would protect the Appalachian Trail and other national trails. On January 26, 1984, the National Park Service officially hands over the rights to maintain the Appalachian Trail to the Appalachian Trail Conservatory who still maintains the lands today.